Well, it is Thursday, and on social media, of course, you see the hashtag TBT. Well, we have a twist on that, and we're taking you back in time. Photojournalist Todd Gertner is live with today's Throwback Toledo. Hey, Todd, where are you today? Hey, guys. So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking like, hey, Todd, are there any castles in Toledo? Yes, there is a castle in Toledo, and coincidentally, it's right over my left shoulder. This is the Pythian Castle. It was built in 1890, so this is no spring chicken building. This is an old building. It was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1972. I love this place. This is not the last time I'm going to visit this place and do photos with it. I have two photos for Throwback Toledo. Let's check them out. The first picture is actually kind of where I am right now. It's across the street from Jefferson and Jefferson in Michigan, and it's looking across the street, Pythian Castle is on the far left, and that's called the Ashley Block right in front. This was taken in 1951. Now, the Ashley Block is obviously not there anymore, and in its place is the former Greyhound bus station, which is also not there, but the building is still there. If any viewers, if you guys know anything about what, what stores or restaurants or whatever was in that Ashley Block, please leave a comment because I would love to know. It's kind of hard to see. The second photo, I love this photo. Look at all those people. So many people in that intersection. That's the intersection of Jefferson and Ontario right in front of the Pythian Castle. So this was taken in 1945 on VJ Day. So VJ Day, VJ stands for Victory Over Japan. So this is during World War II and it's basically a parade celebrating that time. So it was just a ton of people. For some reason, I really like this picture just because there's hundreds and hundreds of people in just that little area, that little intersection, and now there's there's no people. There's no people there. Okay. So, um, I'm, yeah, I'm fascinated by this building. I love this building. Like I said, um, this isn't the only time I'm going to do pictures of this building. I love it. It's fantastic. Well, Todd, I have one question for you. We have about 30 seconds here. Yeah. So it's still standing. What's sure. happening next? Is there a revival in the works? So actually, I've been in that building a couple times. Lisa Guyton and I did stories not too long ago. They're renovating it. They're going to turn it into retail and residential. And we actually talked to the developer this morning, and he said the bulk of the of the project will be done by the end of this year. So that's exciting stuff. I'm excited because it's a cool building. It didn't need to get demolished. It looks amazing. They're going to renovate it. It's going to be cool. Awesome. That's what we got. Love it. Well, thanks so much, Todd, for today's Throwback Toledo. If you want to get in on the fun, send us your comments. You can also submit photos and video by going over to 13abc.com. Give us a like on Instagram and Facebook and join that conversation. Yeah, like the Pythian Castle is just a landmark in Toledo, so if you can figure out another landmark, something that's been there just as long, yeah. get some pictures of that. You know what would be cool, actually, I was thinking, to recreate some of those old photos. Maybe we get a bunch of people in the street or something. Mm, that'd be cool. All right, well, thanks for joining us here on Action News and for the Rolling in the Desk. It's time for Action News at 5 with Leah and Diane. They're coming up next.